Agent Romanov. You miss me? Oh yeah, Charles. We got ourselves an excellent fan. Captain. Guys. Captain. Big fan. Spider-Man. Hey everyone. Well, as it looks like, it is official that the first season of Loki is officially done and wrapped. There's a lot to take away from this new series that finally fully released on Disney+. Plus. And a lot of breakout stars in the MCU and actors that are new to the fan base that are really being appreciated right about now. And one of these actors, of course, that definitely jumped out of nowhere that a lot of people didn't expect to fully be invested in is definitely the actress behind the character Sylvie. And it's very obvious that one of the most liked characters out of this new series, besides of course Morbius, is female Loki, also known as Sylvie, in the Loki series, which is played by Sofia DiMartino. And this has actually ended up being one of the biggest roles that this actress has taken on to date. But with the more recent attention that Loki's been getting, we have seen various interviews and hilarious moments coming from this actress, just talking a bit about the character, what it's been like, and also just some insight that's been really funny, and we wanted to take a closer look at it. For instance, did you know that Sofia DiMartino had no idea that she was auditioning for the role that she got, and that it was even a Loki-related project? What did you know about the role when you auditioned? Did you know exactly what it would be? Nothing. I knew absolutely nothing. I didn't know what the show was. I didn't know about the role. I didn't. I didn't know anything. There was some. There was a very short scene um, between two people, Bob and Sarah, I think it was, on a train, and it ended up being the train scene between Loki and Sylvie. But I had no idea what I was auditioning for. There's also been this funny moment where, during the whole process with the Marvel fan base always really looking into the various hidden things throughout the MCU. Some fans took a sarcastic remark that Sylvie made and ran with it into a fan theory. And hearing Sofia DiMartino talk a little bit about it is actually really funny. But first, we wanted to give a quick reminder, we do have a really awesome Instagram page that updates you guys on everything happening Marvel immediately. So if you guys want to follow us on Instagram, check it out, link in the description. There's also a ton of really awesome memes and other things that are posted on there. So make sure you guys are following that page. And let's go ahead and jump into this story. So, something about, in, in episode three, Sylvie says something about a postman that she's been having a long distance relationship with. Oh, like right. she's being sarcastic, basically. But there's been a whole theory about who this postman might be and where he is and if he's gonna make an appearance. And that's the theory that I'm really enjoying. <laughs> we'll latch on to anything. <laughs> yeah. Now, a lot of fans also fell in love with this character just because some of the funny and awkward moments that came out of the Loki series, and some fans have even taken a step further, making various fan edits, just highlighting some of the awkward and chaotic moments, like this fan edit by YouTuber Bad Wolf. I'm sorry. In an interview, Sofia Di Martino was asked if she could go up against any other character in the MCU, which one would it be? And she actually picked the Hulk of all characters. MCU characters, people want to see a Sylvie and Wanda series. Is there oh, really? anyone in the MCU that you would love to have Sylvie go up against, other than Loki? Can I say the Hulk? Yes. I'd love to see like Sylvie v the Hulk. <laughs> that would be quite fun. And Mark Ruffalo is amazing. Yeah, okay, this needs to happen. Thank you so much, such a pleasure. Can't wait to see all the episodes. We've also seen Sofia DiMartino be very active on her social media and interacting with fans, which is also something that we think is really cool whenever an MCU actor reaches out and just has that small interaction with fans and answered some fan questions on Snapchat. So much fun to be around. He's got so much energy. I think if he was an animal, he'd be a puppy. Sylvie is inspired by the Enchantress, but 
it's a new story, uh, a new origin story and a new backstory. Now you may remember a little while back during the Falcon and Winter Soldier era on Disney Plus, there were jokes and stuff coming from an interview of a Loki lecture that apparently was this long drawn out thing. And it was this meme that Tom Hiddleston teaches a course on just all things Loki. And Sofia DiMartino actually attended one of the Loki lectures that is famous and hearing her talk about it is kind of interesting. But first we wanted to give a quick reminder, we do have a really awesome Instagram page that updates you guys on everything happening Marvel immediately. So if you guys want to follow us on Instagram, check it out, link in the description. There's also a ton of really awesome memes and other things that are posted on there. So make sure you guys are following that page and let's go ahead and jump into this story. Well, I did want to ask him a few questions and Tom loves talking about Loki as well, but a lot, everyone wanted to ask him questions all the time. So he set up the, you know, Loki lecture, which has now become like this infamous thing. And I was there. So, um, you know, everyone gathered around and he did like a lecture about the character and about the films and sort of how it's changed and developed. Sofia Martino also posted a really interesting video back from when she was on set to film Loki and apparently while she was riding in a vehicle to set she caught Tom Hiddleston also on his own commute to set and it was just kind of funny the awkwardness of the whole thing. Now there's also been some other moments from Loki that fans have kind of caught on to with especially this interesting trend that has shown up a couple of times where Sofia DiMartino looks directly into the camera at various times, sort of breaking the fourth wall, which it's unknown at this point if this is intentional or just kind of a comedic undertone that ended up making it into the final cut. Yes, but Yes, but more. the entire mood is destroyed, right? Yeah, everyone on it was killed. Including us? Yes, including us. What about the Ark? Not bad. Maybe. I'm just checking the coupling, making sure it can connect. Right. Okay, hand it over. Pitiful. I'm not giving it to you. Now we've also seen this video of Sofia DiMartino having a little bit of fun with the Loki horns feature on the app that she was filming. And there's no real surprise that this is one of the biggest shows that has aired on Disney Plus yet. We are really curious to see where this will go into the future and what may come of it and which actors will continue to have roles in the MCU in some sort of larger context. We all know that Loki's a mischievous. That goes for Sylvie as well. Now you can try on the horns and see how it feels for yourself. But we definitely wanted to turn this around and ask you guys about it. I hereby arrest you for crimes against the sacred timeline. Respect. What exactly makes a Loki a Loki? Independence, authority, style. Awful throw. Loki comes face to face with Sylvie and wants to know more. A few questions. You're in my way. The audience will be intrigued by Sylvie's arc and the backstory. It really just sets the groundwork for this character. So what do you guys think of the Loki series? Did you enjoy it so far? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below and what you would like to see happen in season two. That's it for today though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video.